How to enable time with ArcMap 10.2. Here we have a data layer of county points in China that have dates. So if we right click on the layer and go to properties and then move to the time tab, we'll see that we can enable time on this layer. Then what we will do is just pick a single time field. In this case we will pick the beginning year and its field format is year, 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 year. And as a time step, we will just use every 10 years. And we'll look at the calculate the total time range, which is from 700 BC to 1911. Okay, then we don't need a time zone, we don't need an offset. And at first, we will not display cumulatively, just so you see things appearing as the begin date occurs. So we'll hit apply and hit OK, and then we will go to the time bar. Time slider will appear once you've enabled time. It's a little clock icon on your toolbar. And now as you slide this, you should see features appearing in 498 and in 653 and so on. Now these will only be the features appearing during that year, which you could also animate. Okay, we'll turn the animation off. Now go back to your layer, properties, and now we'll set the data to display cumulatively. Okay, so now if we apply that, now the time bar will work on a cumulative basis. So if you go back to the time right before Qin Shi Huang, you see there's counties in this area of China, and then as we animate forward, you'll see that they start to get created um, in the Warring States period and then the Chin comes along and suddenly we have a lot of counties that are established and then over time in the Han Dynasty and moving forward in time we have more and more counties that get established in our database until you know by the Tang period there's just been so many counties established throughout Chinese history. So that's basically how to um, enable time and to play them as an animation using the time properties in ArcMap 10.2.